Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be making Colossus protein cookies. Uh, we're going to be using oatmeal. You can use normal oatmeal, but I like to use the Quaker Protein Enhanced Oatmeal. It's pretty cheap. You can get about 12 for $4. We're going to be using half, so we got $2 there. We're going to use four bananas, preferably the browner the better. You don't want green ones. We're just going to have a dash of cocoa, two tablespoons jam, dash cinnamon, baking soda, four scoops of protein. So four, four, six, really easy to make, idiot proof cookies. So you're going to start by getting your oatmeal or the protein oatmeal if you can get it. If you can't get it, it's no big deal. I believe each packet is actually, I don't know, I'll put it on, <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. So then you can just mimic it with normal oatmeal if that's what you need to do. So you're just going to get six of these. Just going to put them all in the bowl. Super easy. I'm not big on cooking. That's why I like these. They're really easy to make and they're good meal prep. The macros are amazing. Like, realistically, you're just eating protein, bananas, and oatmeal. If you're going high carb, it's really good too. If you're really low carb, it's probably not for you. But all in all, it's really solid. Just gonna keep putting them in. It takes a little bit longer when you have these packets, but what can you do? And we're on our last one. Um, and then as far as protein goes, you can really use whatever protein you like. Usually I'd use a chocolate flavor, but I don't have that luxury right now. And we're just going to put the bananas in. But we have this ISO, which is really good. It's higher protein. So we got all of our oatmeal in there, and we got all our banana. Pretty awesome, pretty fired up. You're uh, screaming. I know I am. We got cocoa. I'm just going to dash in cocoa however much you like. I'm not huge on it. I just like that it's chocolatey. It's probably that much. Sometimes I accidentally put in way too much. As far as this bad boy goes, I just like to sprinkle it. A little dash. Dash of love. Baking soda, same crap. Just wing it. Like I said, they're idiot proof. Oh my God. You're just shoving it in. <laughs> you can judge all you want. This is a true man's uh, cookie right here. Then we got four scoops of protein going in. Leveled scoop, best you can do. Some of you crazy people will probably sand it over. Just got our spoon. Open this bad boy up. <laughs> you're so weird. <laughs> so you're gonna put two tablespoons of jam. There's one guy, there's two. You don't have to be overly precise unless you're a crazy person. It's 50 calories per tablespoon, so really you're gonna go like 10 to 20 calories over or under for the whole batch. So I really wouldn't stress too much there. If you do, I don't know, some people are really weird with their counting. So we got all this, this is what she's gonna look like. Just gonna go ahead and stir this bad boy up. I usually use a fork and you can just start by like kind of pushing banana down. You could definitely use a proper blender, but I'm too sketchy for that. Like I said, I don't cook often. So I just like to do things nice and easy. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix this up and then I'll catch back with you. <laughs> bon bon. <laughs> I ate homies, it's all finished. I added no milk at all. I guess you can choose to believe me or not. It'll go, it might be hard at first, but you just keep her going. Now I like to make 11, once again, you can change according to what you like. I'm not overly exact, you can be. I just try to keep them all about the same. I eyeball it, so you just pour them all on. It's probably stupid to do with a fork, but once again, not the neatest, Ugh. Not the neatest cook, but they do turn out quite nicely. Voila, these cookies are ready and good to go in the oven. Um, once again, kind of sketchy. I ended up only making 10, so I'm gonna have to alter my macros accordingly, but usually they make 11 a bit more consistently. I only had this one pan, so I had to make do. All right, guys, I'll show you them when they're done. Got it set on 350. Keep it 300. 
They're looking pretty good, almost there. So you have them on 350 and I usually cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. Keep monitoring them depending on the oven. Yeah, peace. All right, so now that they're out, they're looking fresh. Just give them a poke with a fork. Fork comes out with nothing on it, they're ready. It's a good tip. Uh, so I like them a little softer. You can bake them more if you want. Let's give them a little taste test. Fresh out of the oven. Anyone. You just said a bigger one. Professional see. taste tester. Colossus Fitties.